In this video, we're going to start sketching, sketch, or in SketchUp with our CAD software uh, doing the 2.3 SpongeBob assignment. Uh, in this assignment, you'll be creating SpongeBob using SketchUp for Schools app to understand the concept of the tape measure tool and how to model to the correct sizes. So we're, we are making this uh, SpongeBob to scale from a blueprint. All right, so now our sizes do matter compared to the last couple of videos we've been doing, just kind of getting our feet wet in our software. Now, uh, down here towards the bottom, you will find a link that will have uh, our, um, I guess, a videos um, playlist for us to be walked through to make this or complete this assignment. And below that, we have our screenshot saying what we should have at the end of a submission or at the end of our submission. Uh, basically, we're getting scaled to size. But I'm going to go down even further. Um, down here, we have the view or to download uh, that PDF. This is the blueprint saying what we are doing here. So click into that. In our blueprint here, we can see some uh, sizes as far as callouts next to some lines. And basically, it, it's associated with the, where the line goes back to. So if we look at the top view, we got some orthographic over here as far as our first three uh, views. So we have the top of SpongeBob. Uh, showing that he's 100 meters, uh, 100 millimeters, sorry, excuse me, thick, and 300 millimeters wide. If we go to the front view here, we can see that we can see his face and that he is, uh, I don't have it to call out, oh, it's up here in top, 300, let's share with that same view up there, and 300 millimeters wide, and it is also, oh, it doesn't have a call out for how tall it is, we'll have to figure that out later. Uh, and then the other part is, over here, we can see his depth as far as the side view carrying over. So that the 400 millimeters carries over, and uh, the depth is also there as far as the 100 millimeters. All right, so the important part about the, why we're doing this assignment is we are going to be able to model the size by the end. Uh, we're going to work a lot in the metric system here. You can see we're on millimeters. There's a lot of millimeters around. And um, I guess the important part here is just getting our... Uh, mind wrapped around modeling the size, all right, and understanding how to do that. Now, right, right away here, we're going to go into a new tab, and we want to go to SketchUp for Schools to get started. Getting started is very similar to how we got started in our practice uh, SketchUp for Schools pieces. So uh, when we get in here, we want to make sure that we go to the downward facing arrow just to make sure our selection is still there. As you can see, I've changed mine since the last time we had a video. And I want to go down to where it says decimal millimeters. Once I select that, be patient. It takes a little while for us to open up in SketchUp. Uh, but before we do anything in here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by actually naming it. So we're going to select up here where it says Untitled. And then we're going to click on My Drive. Find your folder. Remember, I have an extra folder when I get in here called Classes. And I'm going to put this in the Design and Modeling. You guys have one other document called practice in here, or you should. In here, down at the bottom, I want to type in my hour first. If I was doing this first hour, I'd put one, and then we're just going to call it SpongeBob. And then we're going to go over here to the right-hand side to save. And you'll see up here that we have our name changed. Now, uh, the next video, I'm going to start by talking about getting our camera views set up and drawing and also just uh, getting started. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps.